making a bath soak. And we are going to be needing some Epsom salt right here and, um, and some baking soda. You will be needing two teaspoons of baking soda and one half cup of Epsom salt. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your Epsom salt and your baking soda and just dump it in like this. And we got, want to get this mixed up really well, so we're going to use a whisk and mix it up. Also, you want to make sure you have this very nice, smooth, and all crunched up. You want to make sure you mix it really well and not have big chunks of anything left in it. We will also add our essential oils into this, which is Sensi, and I'm using the scent called Citrus and Sage. So I am going to take 10 squirts of this in here, and I'm going to try to spread it around evenly. That's 10. Now I'm going to put the lid back on this. And I'm going to mix this up really well. So you need to soak all of them up with your essential oil. And you might need to overdo it more than you think you need to. And the reason me and my mom wanted to make this is because... Sensi used to, but now they don't. So, and they just stopped making it. So I wanted to make it because they stopped making it so I can use it. And I used to really like it when they did. Um, so now we're gonna use this food coloring and you need to probably use about six to eight drops of it. I'm going to use seven total drops. I'm going to use two of, on, of this green food coloring and five of this blue food coloring. One, two. And five of these. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to want to mix this really well. This is an important step. And then after you think you've mixed it enough, I think you should mix it a few more times just to get it all like all the big clumps of food coloring gone. Like I still see a few here and there. Like here, you can see one. So I'm gonna mix that in really well. And once you think that you are done with that, you then you have your um, soap, bath soap. <sighs> Smells good. So a way you could package this up is is if you're gonna take it to a friend, you could use like a cute um jar or anything to keep it in something you and write like a note or tie something onto it but if you're going to keep it um and you're making your own batch you probably will want to put it in an airtight container so it does the moisture doesn't all get in it and it turns like not usable and I'm going to put take my thing I used earlier to get it in here, the half a cup. And I'm going to scoop the, mine and put it in my container here. So 
now I've got it in my container and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get more in here. But you also might wanna use this after a hockey game, let's say, I play, cause I play hockey. After a hockey game to replenish your muscles and it, even when you're like working out, it's good to take one, a bath like with this because it helps replenish your muscles and if you're doing a lot of things then like if you're doing a lot of games on in hockey like you're playing a tournament and you got to play another game then that same day then you're going to want to take one so it you can feel your muscles can feel better for the next game thank you for joining me i'm lincoln from team red gloves don't forget to like and subscribe and join us in the next video of about hockey and other things re kind of related to hockey-ish. Also, don't get caught off sides. <laughs>